Well, to begin, the tremolo effect is a type of low frequency amplitude modulation, or we could say this is the same thing as low frequency AM. Now the equation for an amplitude modulation could be constructed as some time varying envelope which multiplies some basic tone. So uh, we'll use the sinusoid as our basic tone here. It's operating at a frequency of F naught. So we would consider this to be say our maximum amplitude tone probably with a amplitude of 1 and then our time varying envelope will then shape the amplitude as a function of time. So to picture this, consider the idea of the sinusoidal tone with a constant amplitude of 1. And then our time varying envelope uh, for the tremolo effect would start with a nominal value of 1 and then would have a gradual um, increase in um, amplitude and gradual decrease. And so typically tremolo would use a sinusoidal variation for that low frequency. Let's consider this in a little bit more detail. If we consider the nominal value of 1 and then think of this low frequency sinusoid that fluctuates about this nominal value, we'll call the amplitude of that low frequency sinusoid D where D represents depth. So one of the controls for the tremolo effect is, is referred to as depth. Now to write an equation we would say then that it's the low frequency sinusoid which has a uh, frequency called F sub R where that stands for the rate and rate is the second uh, type of control for the tremolo effect. We say it's the sinusoid shifted up to be centered around 1 it has an amplitude of depth D. And this is pretty much where you could stop, although it's worth pointing out that right now we see that the envelope is actually going above one. And normally we try to generate all of our audio samples to, to lie within the range of plus and minus one. So to avoid clipping or saturation effects where it's going above one, we can shift down the whole waveform by subtracting that constant value D. So that will nudge the whole thing down just a little bit. That way it has a maximum value always of 1. Now let's talk about perception of loudness or intensity here for a moment. From a perception standpoint, the main thing that, that controls our perception of the degree of depth is the ratio of the maximum value of the envelope to its minimum value. And we need to consider the idea of intensity or loudness, which would be equivalent terms. Uh, these are distinct ideas from the idea of actual amplitude. So if we consider the ratio of maximum to minimum, we could write this as the max value of 1 plus d divided by the min value of 1 minus d. Should also point out from a perception standpoint, the fact that we shifted the, the envelope down a little bit doesn't really matter. So for this purpose, I'm just using the notion of the, the picture in the upper left. Now, normally we specify our perception in terms of decibels. So I'll write my ratio in terms of dB. And typical values that uh, often we find for the tremolo effect in terms of the rate probably a value anywhere from about 3 hertz to 10 hertz would be typical so uh, recall that the lower limit of your hearing of sinusoid as, a, as an actual tone would be somewhere around 20 hertz so this is l slow enough that we can actually hear the individual cycles the depth would need to be at least 1 decibels to actually be perceptible at all. And typically we might 
keep the depth anywhere from about 3 or 4 dB uh, to perhaps as much as 8 uh, dB or so.